Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing good. Today's session is all about SQL Server tough file. Okay, I'm going to talk in details about the tough file, why the tough file is too much critical. If you are deleting the tough file, what will happen? So a lot of interview questions I'm going to cover also. Okay, so please watch the complete video. Uh, one request who are newly joined on my channel, please like to subscribe and share to others. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. Okay, and uh, if you are interested to uh, join a member part, uh, so you can join as a member uh, by clicking the join, okay, join button, you can get it here, okay, you can join it also, so we'll create a separate video for that, okay, so let me start, so firstly, uh, we'll describe what is the tough file actually, okay, so basically the tough file is a Microsoft SQL Server transaction undo file, Tough file contains the information regarding the any modification that were made as a part of incomplete transaction at the time of backup was performed. Okay, so basically it's holding the you know the incomplete transaction at the time of backup was performed. Okay, so we'll discuss in details. Uh, we'll break something. Okay, uh, one by one. Uh, we'll we'll see how it's behaving actually with the help of these bullet points. Okay. Basically, the tough file, as I said, the known as transaction undo file. This file is created when the log shipping is configured in SQL Server in standby mode. So this is one of the interview questions. Also, interviewer can ask you like that when the tough file is created. There are two modes of you know. Uh, two types of mode in a log shipping the normal which is database is in a restoring mode and second is a standby mode so in a standby mode which means you can access the database okay so the tough file only will create when you are configuring the log shipping in a standby mode okay clear the third is this file con contains uh, consist uh, of list of uncommitted transaction which were pushed with the t log backup of the primary server as i told you this file only containing the you know uh, uncommitted transaction while backup is performing if the file is deleted we either have to restore secondary database from the full or differential or reconfigure the log shipping so only you have these option if you are going to delete the file tough file then you need to reconfigure the log shipping okay the fourth is major point this file is where is located okay so they will ask for the location also so this file basically is located where the transition log file exists you can also keep it in a different folder while restoring the database in standby mode okay now come to the in details part will understand with this uh, pictures how the tough file basically behaving so before explaining this uh, picture let me describe these points so undo file is needed in a standby state because while restoring the log backup uncommitted transaction will be restored to the undo file and only the committed transaction will be written to the disk whereby making users to read the database. So when you restore the next T log uh, backup of a school server will fetch the uncommitted transaction from undo file and check with the new T log backup where the same is committed or not. If it's committed, the transaction will be written to the disk, else it will be stored in the undo file until it's get committed or roll back. What is the meaning of this until until it's get committed or roll back? I will explain with help of this diagram. So before explaining, I would request if you are not watched uh, the how the log shipping is working, you can check my playlist. You will get the video, the entire configuration setup and all, and how the log shipping is working. Okay. So there, are, uh, let me summarize a bit here. Uh, so three jobs in a log shipping, you know there are three major jobs the backups ls backup ls copy and ls restore so based on these three jobs only log shipping is working okay now i'm not going to talk in details 
just I will focus on the tough file only. Okay, so if you see here, these details is showing the the log backup is generated. Okay, so let's assume till here log backups is applied. So in a in this slot, we are going to you know uh, apply this log backups. Okay, so at the same time some transaction is going on which is not committed. Okay, some transaction on a private database is going on which is not committed yet. So what log shipping will, uh, will do? It will create a tough file. Okay, and those details will keep in the tough file. That's the reason saying tough file only containing the uncommitted transaction. It's holding the uncommitted which is running on the primary server which is not committed yet it's going on so that those transaction only will be uh, you know contained by the tough file so in this slot what it will do the log file only will uh, take the uh, details of the committed transaction so it will take this file and it will keep a record in this tough file some transaction is going on so it will keep a record here in the tough file when it will it will come to the next slot to take the backup firstly it will check whether those transaction is committed or not so after this tough file if, if any transaction log backup so in including that backup it will check whether the those transaction the previous transaction committed or not if it is committed they will include that transaction also in the next slot of uh, t log backup if it is not committed it will leave it uh, leave as it, as it is okay Again, it will come to the next slot. It will check whether those transactions is committed or not. If suppose now assume that the transaction is committed, okay? So transaction is committed. So they will include in a third slot, okay? And they will apply to the second. They will restore to the second. Until unless the transaction is not committed on the primary server, that record will be here only. And each time when the you know a log backup is going to you know or restored on a secondary each time they will check it whether th those transaction is committed or not so that's the reason this line if you are saying here if it's committed committed the transaction will be written to the disk else it will be stored in a undo file until it's get committed or rolled back let's assume uh, transaction is interrupted or it's rolled back so that's also well and good. Uh, in that case, it will inform transition is rolled back. Okay, if it is committed, it will edit uh, right to the disk, and in the next slot, the backup will take care. So this is the uh, functionality of tough file. Only it's in a standby mode. You will get the tough file, and uh, you know in that standby mode, you can read the database. Okay. So this is another question. Uh, on in which mode you can access the database in a log shipping okay so the answer is only the standby mode you can access the you know uh, the log shipping so hope you got the point what is the tough file and functionality of tough file where we can get the tough file details okay and if you are deleting the tough file what will impact you know so tough file also is very very critical file you need to be very, very much uh, you know careful and you need to do any action before that you need to think twice okay because entire dr setup will be interrupted okay <laughs> so hope you got the points will come soon with another video till then bye bye thank you take care